So you have to make up your mind. If I say to you, is it clear to you that the personality is nothing other than a concept that occurs in thought, right? Are you, is that clear to you? Yeah. Right, it's not real outside of thought. <laughs> it, it's a concept that only occurs in thought. Therefore, if it's not real, it doesn't think, it doesn't see, it doesn't hear, it doesn't touch, it doesn't smell. Yes? Yeah. So what is this that feels that the personality is still here? See, the reality of it is that what the, the awareness is a constant. It never changes, right? No matter what, how many earrings and necklaces and rings you have that are made of gold, they're all gold, no matter what they appear to be, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So the personality is awareness manifesting itself as a personality so that there can be a thought process and the thought process allows you to experience the world, the universe, your life, your body, and your personality. Without that, your life is over. That emptiness, the, the Heart Sutra, emptiness is form, form is emptiness, right? Personality is the form, consciousness is the emptiness. It's the same thing. Same thing. So if you, if you started to relate, if you started to consistently relate as the, as the reality of what you are, which is non-conceptual, so it's nothing that I'm saying, but I'm, I'm pointing at it, but if, you, if, you, if, you're, if you're experiencing the experience of being awake and being what you actually are, and, and that what you actually are has the ability to attend to the thought process in such a way that it never doesn't know that the thoughts are just thoughts. Do those thoughts interfere with your ability to experience well-being? The, the thoughts are just thoughts. When they appear, if you take the thought to be true, you then live in the limitations that thought just created. If the thought appears, I am a personality, and you take that to be true, you, then you are a personality. And you start living your life as a personality, separate from everybody else, with emotions, with thoughts, with feelings, right? The only problem is, it's a dream, it's an illusion, because if you, if you stop and look at it and investigate it, the personality can't have thoughts, feelings, and emotions. It can't see, it can't feel, because it's not real. But feeling is happening, isn't it? Yeah. So what's that? It's you. It's consciousness itself. Yeah. You see what happens when you start trying to think about it? <laughs> when, you start tr when you start trying to think about it, you know, the thinking is like, oh, okay, let me see. Let me see. I got this. And how does this relate to that? And uh, is it, it, that can't go anywhere. Yeah, but, but what you're doing, Frank, is you're saying, I have, to keep, I have to keep telling myself over and over again that Santa Claus isn't real. Yeah. Do you? Exactly. That's exactly what I'm Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Where do the thoughts come from? See, this is, this is it, w one way that you can keep getting back to the bottom line is thy will be done, right? Everything comes from thy will be done, mm -hmm. right? The thoughts come from thy will be done. So you think the thought, now watch. You think, I thought the thought to stop at the red light or I'll go through the red light and get killed. You, th you thought you thought that thought, but where did that thought come from? Yes, See, the thought occurred in consciousness, right? right? And the thought occurred in consciousness, and then the next thought was, I thought that thought. So we're not thinking of the thoughts appear. And consciousness, really consciousness already knows everything. Consciousness is intelligent, already knows everything. And because a thought occurs that you know something, right, then you think that you know more than God. You, that before a thought occurs, there is a condition that exists in the brain prior to thinking, right, uh, that what's going, what the, so the, when you go to raise your hand, there's a condition that occurs in the brain that starts the system raising your hand before you think to raise your hand. What's that proof? Yeah. It proves, it, it, 
That's right. It proves that there's no doer. It proves that you, the idea that you believe you're raising your hand is nothing but a thought. Yeah. What is the hell realm? Uh, let me make this clear because a lot of people that commented, the comments on that video were like 1,300. Wow. And a lot of people that commented on that video, right, were confused, right, about what it is that I was pointing out there, that we're born into a hell realm, right? What's the hell realm we're born into? We're born into a thought process, and that's hell, isn't it? We're born into a thought process. In the beginning was the Word, right? Yeah, see, when, you're, when you hear that in the beginning was the Word, you think it's referring to the beginning of the beginning of everything. No. It's referring to your beginning. And your beginning was the Word, wasn't it? Your life began in language, didn't it? Yeah. In your beginning, your beginning was the Word. In other words, and thinking is good. Why would thinking be good? Because it creates a world for you to live in. Heidegger, a famous German uh, philosopher, said, language is the house of being. Without language, you wouldn't have a world to be in, would you? You wouldn't have a name, you wouldn't have a story, you would have nothing, right? So what made, what turned the word bad? Believing the word wasn't just the word, made the word bad. Right? But the word's good when you understand the word is nothing but a concept that allows you to experience something that's non-conceptual. Language is conceptual and dualistic that allows you to experience that which is non-conceptual and non-dualistic. You see? And the two things together is perfect. It's perfect. Everything is what it is and it's what it's not at the same time. Right? That's perfection. Everything is perfectly the way it is and perfectly the way it's not at the same time. That's perfection. Right? So if you're living in that, if you're living in the domain of being, right, then everything that's appearing to you, you're seeing it as it is, an appearance. You're enjoying the appearance like you enjoy a movie when you're watching a movie. You're enjoying the appearance, right? And whatever thoughts you have about it, right, Whatever thoughts you have during a movie, when you're in the movie, sitting in the dark, and you get involved, when the movie's over and the lights come on, what happens? Pew. Within seconds, you're back in this world, and you think, this one's real. Good luck with that. Thoughts create reality, create the reality that you believe is real. Don't they? All of it. So when I just said, how do you know? The only honest answer she could give me is that's the thought said, said it, it's true. But what if the thought didn't say it's true? Would it still be true? Well, she was a real person. It's like Sailor Bob said. Sailor Bob is a, uh, was a, a non-dual teacher from, from Australia, right? He said, as he, one of his famous statements is he said, if you don't think about it, is there anything wrong with right now? That's your whole life. That's your whole life. If you, if you applied that to every now, would there ever be anything wrong with right now? No. What are you waiting for? I need to tell my daughter. That's, a, that's, 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 a, that's the simple truth. It's the simple truth. Anything, anything that's wrong, anything that is, that is suffering, anything that is unworkable, is a thought. That's all it is. No matter what's happening. You know, when, I, when, the, when this body was laying in bed last week with COVID, right, right? I was just watching the body. There was nothing wrong. Literally nothing wrong. I was just watching the body. It knows what to do. It did it successfully again. Right? So that's the thing that you want to, that's, that's the kind of thing you can apply at all times. Whenever you're upset, whenever you're upset, whenever you're stressed out, right? Yes. Just stop for a moment and ask yourself, if I, was, if I don't think about this, is it still upsetting? 
you can literally practice not thinking about things. Did you know that? You can literally practice. Think, think about things in your life that, that are troubling to you, right? And then stop thinking about those things. Are they still troubling? See how easy it is? Yeah. Because when you stop thinking about it, you go from dual to non-dual. Non-dual is non-conceptual. Nothing's happening. Nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. If you don't think about it, what happened? Is your story real? Were you born? If you don't think about it? That's how easy it is. That's how simple it is. All right, let's just take a couple of minutes and sit still and be silent and do nothing and be nobody and be nowhere. Just remember, as you sit still in silence, you're not doing anything, you're not going anywhere, nothing's happening. I'm just letting things be as they are, non-conceptual, So if you think that uh, we meditated for only a brief period of time, that's not true. Yeah, you just meditated for eternity. So here's the last thing that I want to leave you with, right? You can't let go of something unless, you're, unless it doesn't matter whether you do. You can't wake up unless it doesn't matter whether you do. You can't quit smoking cigarettes unless you could continue to smoke. You can't stop drinking alcohol unless you could continue to drink. You can't stop believing that you're your personality unless it doesn't matter whether you do or not. Why would that be so, right? Isn't it the case that you're already the only possible what you could be? Right? So what's the difference? Right? Whether, whether, whether you wake up and realize you're not your personality or not doesn't matter. Because whether you wake up and realize you're not your personality or not, you're still not your personality. You just think you are. So all you have to do is start paying attention to the thought process and realize the thought process is a dream. That's all. And you don't have to keep remembering that. You don't have to keep remembering Santa Claus isn't real. Or the Easter Bunny. You can't do anything. You never could do anything. Right? So you could relax and allow yourself to begin to enjoy what's happening because, you, because it doesn't matter whether you, whether you wake up or not. There's nothing to wake up about. So, you know, if you get that, all you have to do is get this one time. If you get it one time, you don't have to keep going back and revisiting, right? 